Are you looking to take your confluence tables to the next level? Hi, it's Emily again with Team Drawio, and today we're going to look at Drawio's professional take on an everyday classic, tables. Drawio offers a variety of unique features and tools that make it the best choice when deciding how to add tables to your confluence pages. Some of the features we offer that Confluence's table feature doesn't includes table color customization, individual cell resize capabilities, and custom row and column lines. We are working within the diagrams editor today. Add a table to the center of your canvas by navigating up to the toolbar and clicking on the table icon. Hover your mouse down and to the right until you have all the columns and rows you need and click. To add a table with a title row at the top, simply select the box next to title before you create your table. You can resize the title row by dragging the yellow diamond. Add text anywhere in the table by double-clicking inside a cell and typing. Don't forget to customize your text under the text tab at the right, or you can double-click to access the advanced text options. To add a header column, select any cell in the table, then click again to select the entire row. This causes a yellow diamond to appear at the leftmost side of the table, which you can then drag to the right creating your header column. Resize the entire table by dragging the blue dots inward or outward. By default, the rows and columns will scale with it, but to disable this, scroll down under the Property dropdown and select Fix Rows. Don't forget to consider these options as well when resizing your table. While we're here, if you ever want to hide your rows or column lines, simply deselect these boxes here. Each individual cell still exists, even though the lines may be gone now. Merge as many cells as you need by clicking the starting cell, holding shift, and clicking where the merge will end. Then, under the Arrange tab, you'll find the Merge button. If you have text in all the cells you merge, no worries, as the merge cell will now only hold the text of the top left starting cell. Keep in mind, the merge button is only visible when you have two or more individual cells selected at once. In the same table subgroup are the options to add rows and columns to your table. These same buttons can also be found under the table button above, as long as your table is already selected. Nice work! You're now on your way to creating tables inside Confluence like a pro. I hope you've enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe to never miss out on our latest diagramming tools and tutorials. See you later!